How to create classes, class members, and problem sets in Tina Cloud's supervisor mode. In this tutorial video, we will demonstrate how to define classes, class members, that is the list of students in a class, and problem sets in Tina Cloud for training and examination. First, log in to Tina Cloud, then go to the Help Supervisor page. Note that you must have supervisor rights in Tina Cloud to see and use the Supervisor Page command. The two-panel Supervisor screen appears. On the left-hand side, you can define classes and add students to each class, while on the right-hand side, you can add problem sets. Let's see how to create a new class. Click the New button and enter a name, for example, Test Class. Click OK. Now let's add students to this class. Click the Add button. The Add Class Members window will appear. Here you can list the email addresses of the students in the class. Note that these should be existing email addresses since the system will automatically generate user IDs and passwords for these students and send emails to the email addresses provided. Right now, just for demonstration purposes, let's add a few hypothetical addresses. You can also copy and paste email addresses from a list. Set the expiration date at the bottom of the page, for example, one year. This means that the students in this class have access to this system for one year. Click OK. The class with three students has now been created. Now you can add problem sets that the students in the class can solve. We will add two sets, one for training and the other one for examination. Click the Upload command and enter the name of the test into the Test Name field. If you leave this field empty, the name of the test will be the name of the .exar file containing the problem set without the extension. Next, select the .exar file by clicking the Choose Files button. For training, use the short test.exar file, which is a file to be generated with the TTASK Teacher's Task List Editor utility of Tina's offline version. And we will demonstrate the use of the TTASK in a separate video. Select the short test.exar file, then click Open. Click Upload. Next, add another file for examination. Select the full test.exar file and then click the Upload button. Click Upload. Assign the name Exam, then click the Choose Files button. Select the full test.exar file and then click Open. Contact DesignSoft to get the sample.exar files used in this video or generate your own by using the TTASK program. Click Open. Click Upload. You should still set the properties of the test files. Change the type property of the training problem set from Exam to Training, and leave the type of the second problem set as Exam. Assign both sets to the class currently open on the left-hand side, then click the Apply button. Now, the students in the class will be able to see and select the problem sets with these settings. We will present the training and examination processes in other videos. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com user slash tinadesignsuite.